Hello, I'm the Zombie J. And I told you I'd have a mock review out for you all today, so here we go. Uh, but first, tea. So, um, to put this in perspective, well, first things first, remember this mask? Yeah. Yeah, well, now take a look at the uh, Gen 1 version. Well, the custom 3D printed design that someone made. That one actually looks more fitting for G1 than this one. I'll admit, this looks pretty freaking awesome. It looks very regal and um, kind of, uh, I guess, royal in a way. It just looks nice. So, with that in mind, at, keep in mind, at the time we didn't have a uh, canonized uh, G1 uh, Mask of Creation. So, I decided to use it for my own uh, Artaka. And here he is. Artaka, the creator. That's, yeah, so... Um, Kind of a cheesy, stupid fucking name, but hey, it's, well, sub-name at least, the creator part, but, um, Artaka, yeah, um, I wanted to keep with the color scheme of gold and black, which was a color scheme that was associated with, uh, his brother, um, Karzani at one point, and it's very dusty, yeah. So, you can see this is, um, <clears throat> this is quite an interesting build, so we'll start with the uh, weapons, actually. No, we'll start from the ground up. The feet are just the normal uh, Hero Factory feet with, um, well, with a barb on each foot, one of those claw things, and a, um, one of those. Um, about as simple as you can get, really. The leg design. So, in fact, I'll pluck one of his legs off. Oh, dismemberment! <laughs> so, the lower leg. You might look at this and think, what the fuck happened here? Well, besides the uh, six long armor shell in black, which is held on by um, this uh, three hold, three pin hole. Uh, thing with the with the um, ball joint, and as you can see, it's a modified, basically the biggest uh, torso armor or torso for CCBS thing. Actually, is it? Yeah, it is. I've had plenty of these things lying around, so I figured, why not put them to some use? I know there's some gapage that I could have filled, but hey, whatever. And, uh, yeah, that, I cut off the ball joints. Cardinal sin, I know, but whatever. So, we got the, uh, actual torso armor right there. <coughs> and on that, we have a, uh, Bionicle 2015 armor piece upside down, obviously, because, why? This one's a somewhat different shade of gold than this one, which I'm pretty sure four of this came with Onua. Is that correct? Onua, Master of Earth? And that is on another uh, six long. And guess what? Eh. This, uh, this bone piece, along with a fraction adder. Fraction adder. Um, and it's pretty much mirrored eh. on the other side, so... Legs, done. Blech. Arms. I mean, he's just got a black fist. Because they don't make them in gold, apparently. Because, fuck that. <laughs> um, so the lower arms are actually Vaki legs in black. Which is nice. I could have done some more detail. But I wanted to keep it a little simple, you know. Then, eh, on one of those... This paw piece in gold, along with this little blade piece in gold. Again, there's some stuff I could have, some more custom work I could have done, but I chose not to because I didn't want to go 
that balls deep into it. Plus, this is an old mock anyway, so. But, um, it's basically his arms, and I figured this, um, just staring at this, yeah, that is a, uh, that demands some kind of uh, respect right there with these, with these, uh, are uh, these blades coming out of these pauldrons and um, staring at the mask of creation? Obviously, the torso is the is the is the, is the longest, the biggest of the torsos of um, CCBS. And oh, shit, shit, shit! Come on, come on, stupid! Oh, there we go. Used to the. Um, this armor piece in gold, very nice, uh, warm gold. And there's the abdomen, and there's that. So, fairly simple, standard thing. And as for the torso, um, are y'all ready for this? Probably not, but hey, that is what uh, the torso armor is connected to. And there is a uh, Metro armor uh, piece. And behind, well, uh, on top here, we see these three long. Two, uh, two, three long armor bits with a barb on each. And back on the back, we have two more. Uh, well, just two of these freaking four long armor shells. Sort of going in the stack, I guess you could say. So, and this armor shell, or armor add-on is right there. Oh, yes, I also added this. Uh, this uh, this little setup. You want to know how to build that? Too fucking bad. Um, I mean, just look at it. You can pretty much guess how that is. I, I used one of those uh, tri pieces. The the well here. Well, shit. There we go. One of those. Yep. And this. Pretty fucking simple, so I like simplicity in my box sometimes. Oh no! Hold on. Well, let me put this back on. And that's pretty much uh, the simple thing. I must decapitate him real quick, lay his dead body over there, and again, it's just the normal uh, Bionicle G2 head with this, but with a couple of those a little half bushings in. Um, yellow because I I didn't want to use gray and unfortunately this one has a crack in it <sighs> damn it <laughs> yeah put that there Posability, obviously you can move his head around and try not to pop off his head because the fucking crack in it <sighs> there <laughs> obviously you can move the uh, hands and the um, Ooh, squeaky. Squeaky, squeaky, squeaky. That one's not squeaky. Squeaking as much, but yeah. You can make him do a falcon punch. So. Um, legs. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, I apologize to headphone users out there. Yeah. Uh, legs only bend to that uh, much, like a 90 degree or whatever. Feet are typical. So, well, you can get this guy in some decent poses. He's really meant to stay in the, um... I mean, he's not really going to be doing much battle, is he? Uh, um... Unless he fights Karzani for some stupid, fucked-up reason. He's really supposed to be in the, uh... The Forge, right? That's where Artaka is spending most of his time. Creating shit. So... With that being said, we have the Staff of Artaka, which is in two pieces. And, uh, <laughs> I felt it was, um, fitting to give him the staff that is named after him. He's got these two blades. Um, I wanted to get somewhat creative with it. Um, this is a shaft, staff, staff, shaft right here. This little gray piece. Um, this is a modified scrawl, uh, version of the, uh, of that 2007 piece. We got a bull rock eye in black right there, and just one of these because I said so. One of these, these, 
and this uh, this little spear in there in in the silver just for a little contrast. And his other weapon, which he is completely non-canon, but hey, you never know. It's a gun. Yeah. One of these days he's going to kill his brother Karzani. But Karzani has plans, <laughs> apparently. So, it's just a simple build. I mean, you can probably build off of that if you want. Um, add like an actual scope. This is supposed to be like an iron sight type of thing. It's a blaster. So there you go. Um, a, a gold Zammer sphere would probably be fit right into the, the prongs right here and you can shoot. So, time for some recoil. Ah, crap, it blew his arm off. Uh, but that is, uh, Artaka right there. So, yep, I feel like there's some more things I could do with this mock. Uh, let me know in the comment section below what you think of this mock, this version of Artaka. Um, I mean, obviously it's inferior to some of the the uh, cannon contest uh, variants out there that I've seen that I kind of don't like except for the the one that uses the most parts probably that one big fucking thing um, uh, I can't remember who did it was it Wombat Combat Studio or something like that I don't fucking know but the, whichever one won the, con the canonization contest that one looked pretty cool Mine, though, well, it may be a, a bit too simple. It still deserved, I feel like, a bit of a um, build, you know. It should, it, it could have gotten some recognition. I just chose not to, you know, enter it into the contest because I felt like my uh, build wasn't going to win anyway because, I don't know, it just wouldn't. Um, doesn't matter to me. I never win any of those stupid contests. I mean, I did win a BC Power Raffle. And this was my prize, Golly Master. So, she's still built, and she'll forever stay built until, well, I don't know, maybe something. Um, but what do you think I should add to this mock? Should I add, like, a something for the crotch armor? Should I give him a penis or something? Um, could I add more greebling stuff, like some stuff on the pal the shoulder pauldrons? Should I fill in the gaps? Obviously, I plan to fill in some gaps. Probably do a little bit more with the feet, a little bit. Um, and obviously the staff could be better, but um, so that's, this is what I have. This is what I wanted to use. Um, I mean, if anything, I could probably... <clears throat> probably put this... Like here? I've never tried this, honestly. Yeah, that doesn't look too bad. I mean, it's a little too low and far on the offside, but it doesn't really look staffy. I'm gonna take that out. Well, fuck. So, actually, it looks better without that piece, so maybe I'll just keep it off or put it on the blaster. I don't know. But that is our Taka. That is our Taka, the creator. Now let's watch this mask fly off. Come here, mask of creation. There we go. So yeah, stay tuned for more mock reviews. I hope you all enjoyed this one. Um, I'll put our Taka right there. There you go. So yeah, I'll have another mock review out for you soon. And, uh, yeah. Also got a list video planned for y'all at some point, maybe tomorrow. I don't know. But, um, for now, that's it. I'm the Zombie J. I'll see you folks. Have a good fucking day, and peace. Bonus segment. So I decided to add the, um... Modified scrawl blade piece, this uh, black uh, 2007 armor uh, weapon piece that Matoro uses. 
Well, this one was from Scrawl. I decided to add on the back of the gun thing that um, the blaster that uh, Artaka uses, and <laughs> this isn't what the original intention was, but hey, this works. This actually looks pretty awesome. I mean, the weapon could still use some improvements besides that, but that does look pretty freaking awesome. There you go.